All right, welcome back guys. So I went through and I changed all the organization of everything. So now I'm just gonna go in and brute force, go through each error, figure out what's error is happening, and then um, fix it and make everything work. So I just started up the server to start this and the first thing I'm getting is module not found, recipe card, and my recipes. So let's go to my recipes. Um, looks like we're fetching, first off, I see we're doing that in the constructor component will mount. So let's change that. Put that there. Don't need that. And then we should be getting this from. Where we should we be getting this from? Oh, the component. That's right. Components. Okay. So, okay, now we get no error here. Next, you can check the console. Should be stuff, and there's not, so nothing is rendering. So, we have we should have a card group. So, if I go into React, it'll show me what I sh Waiting for root to load. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Not sure what that's about. I don't know if it's routes. So we should actually we should be going to home. This home component should be mounting. So what I'd like to do, maybe it doesn't like. What I think I'll do is instead of using index route, let's we'll use regular route. Put the path, double quotes. See if that changes anything here. I don't think the server refreshed. Okay, here we go. Cannot read property listen of undefined in sync JS. Sync history with the store. Okay, so uh, that's interesting. Possibly history is undefined here. So export const history, that's fine history oops here store render root provides so what we can do is console.log store and make sure that's defined has been defeated in favor of, please update your code. Effects. Okay. So who knows what the heck is causing this. Instead of doing routes here, what I'll do is I'll do an H1 and say hello. So let's see if that is rendering. Okay, so that won't even render. So just the, so that means something is wrong with our store. So let's fix that. So we're getting the root reducer and the root saga here. So that means there could be something wrong with our modules, our index module here, because the combined reducers, root reducer, root saga, could be something wrong with our root saga. To test this, what I'm going to do is I'm just not going to apply it and see if we work. So you must mount. So comment that out. And let's see if high shows up. If high shows up, then we know it's not our saga. So it looks like it's just our root reducer. Something's messed up. Because, let me see, comment out that guy too. Yep. Let me path. Just look at the root reducer. So we're combining the reducer. So we're getting root reducer from React Router Redux. Router reducer, routing. That looks good. I wonder if it's some of these messing it up. 
So what I'll do is I will comment those out. Okay. Quite possibly routing causing the problem here. Unexpected routing state to be available as either state.routing or a custom expression. Ensure you have added this. Not sure what that is about. But we need a reducer here. I'll just do a dummy reducer, which is Bob state and default state is that. Why is that red though? Oh, it must be spaced. Okay. Expected routing state to be provided as either. Oops. So our store here, sync. Is that the problem? All right. So that is the problem that we're getting. So if something is wrong with browser history in our store root reducer and oh you know what you know what it probably is it's probably react router is using different terminology now so we're actually just going to go to react router go to their docs and we're going to update this that's probably what it is So let's see how they add it to Redux. So we're doing the web version and Redux integration. Greg's forming a part of the ecosystem. So before, after, React Router DOM, which we're not using. Do we need to do it like this then? This is kind of different. I'm trying to see if there's another example. Because we don't want to, this looks like it's connecting, this looks like something else. This is not how I want to connect the reducer or with Redux. Yeah, this is what I want to do. So we apply the middleware router reducer. So React Router Redux. So here, React Router Redux, we get the router reducer. So I'll uncomment that. We call it routing. Oh, we call it router. Huh. I wonder if route, routing was causing the problem. We call it router. Pass in the root reducer, which we get from here, or the router reducer. Put in our combined reducer, then we create the store middleware. Do we need to add router middleware? Maybe. Provider, provide the store, create history. I don't see the sync thing that I was doing. Maybe I don't have to do a sync. Ah, so okay. So let's let's update our stuff. So store over here. Let's not do this sync stuff. We'll do connected router. Connected router. That's what this history is doing. Connected router. 
instead of a router, I assume. Connected router. And then we get rid of router here. That looks good. No, I think we no longer have to sync with the store. We can run that. What's our store looking like? Sync with history, no longer need. Browser history, no longer read. We will be putting that back shortly. All right, hello is rendering now. Let's add the Saga middleware back. Now that we know that was not what was causing the problem. Let that refresh here. Make sure it still says hello. Awesome. Now we come back to our index, our module index first. Uncomment all the, oops. Uncomment those. Let it refresh and make sure it still looks good. And then if that does look good, we'll put routes back here. Okay, that looks good. Routes back. Okay, now auth is not a function index. I'm assuming that's gonna be auth required here. So that's gonna be, dink. Maybe this guy was causing a problem. I'm assuming check auth if user has own property. I'm curious what's causing the auth react composite component. Because home, um, home you, okay, we should, we should be rendering home and to make sure we are, okay, so we should be trying to render this guy right here. So I'm going to console log home to make sure we're going to that. Okay, so we don't even make it to that component yet. So it could be a problem with the router right here. Could be this connected router causing problems, possibly. And paste that here. So what I will try is is to comment out all those. So now the only thing we're showing is the home route. Can I read property route of undefined? What is undefined here? Do I need that index route back possibly? Because that was not what was causing it. Okay, interesting. Oh, from our home. So here we will export default. Home looks good. Recipe list, which we get from recipe card, export default, recipe card, export default. Both of those look like they're good, so I wonder where this is coming from. Um, expected a string or a class, check render method of stateless component. <laughs> You likely forgot to export your code from its files to find check your code. So view, view we're getting from here. Maybe it's coming from recipe list. Looks like it just ha is having trouble getting home for some reason. So home, which we're getting from this home folder here, component home. We're grabbing it from index. Connecting them. That looks fine. View. Could it be the route itself? Maybe this whole route. So to test this, what I'm going to do is instead of doing routes here, I'm going to import home from routes home. And I'm just going to try rendering home here. A 
Okay, request recent recipes is not a function. So home request recent recipes. Request recent recipes. So let's see what we're supposed to call. That's going to be in our recipe actions. Request request recent recipes. Unless I spelled something wrong. Request recent recipes. Whoops. Request recent recipes. Request recent recipes. So what we can do now is we can console.log stop props. So let's see what the props are looking like. And the props are we're only getting recipes. So for whatever reason, this is not working. Request. Huh. See I did the user there? That should be recipe. That's the problem. Just a typo there. Now if we refresh. Okay, now we're able to call it. Home is being called. That looks good. So that tells me there is a problem with this right here. This has a problem. Because notice how that was able to render, but as soon as I change this to routes, we now have a problem. We get that error that we were getting before. And before we deal with that, let me just, we don't need to print the props out, we don't have to print home. What about this junk after we try rendering the route? So now, now we're gonna play with route and see what's wrong with this thing. So it's almost like this is not getting returned even though this looks right, unless I'm doing something silly and it's not hitting me. This looks right, connected router looks right. Um, this video is getting quite long also, so I think I'm gonna stop here and figure out what is wrong with this router. Um, and in the next video, that's what we'll fix. So see you guys then.